Hey friends, you're with me Anuradha from learningmilestone.com and in this series we are learning Python along with Turtle and in this lecture we will be doing, we'll be looking at how we can control both pen and turtle attributes so that we can do drawing as per our liking. Okay, now there are two things which we will be looking at. One is pen and the other is turtle, right? We have already seen how we can control the shape of the turtle. Now we can also control whether we want to see Mr. Turtle or not. Then we can fetch the current position of turtle. As we already know that turtle is on 2D plane of XY. And when we fetch the position, that means we are fetching XY coordinate. Second is we can change the turtle position by bringing turtle into motion, right? We have been uh, applying motion forward, backward, and we will be applying, we will be looking at how we can change turtle's position by just changing XY coordinate. Then we have been doing drawing, right? So we can uh, reset the turtle position by bringing it to original position and we can also clear the drawing. So these are the attributes which we will be discussing. Once we discuss turtle attributes, we will be discussing pen attributes. Now what could be the pen attributes, right? So as we already know, when we are doing drawing, pen can be in up state. That means it is not drawing even if we are moving it. It can be in down state. And we also know that we can have different thicknesses of the line which pen is drawing right so we need we can decide the pen size we can decide the speed of the pen as well right the speed at which we want to draw and of course we have already seen how we can choose different colors for the outline and for the fill color all right so let's go back to rappel and see how we can apply different turtle attributes or state and also pen states to choose how we want to draw on turtle canvas. All right, so I'm in Rappel. I'll just rename this Rappel now, okay? Because I want to indicate the pen underscore turtle control, okay? All right. Now let's create a screen first. So I'll create the screen using turtle dot screen method. And I can also set up the size of this screen um, in pixels, width, and height, let's say. If I run it, I'll have a screen. So let's say I create Tim equal to turtle dot turtle, right? So if I run it, so if the screen is 500 by 400 size, turtle is placed at 00, zero coordinate. Okay. This screen is divided into four quadrants from minus 250 to plus 250 and from minus 200 to plus 200. And we can see the current position of Mr. Tim using Tim dot position method and uh, but how can we really see it, right? What if we really want to see the output, display output, whatever is the value we want to display on console, okay? This is the area where we can display the output using print method. I can pass this in print method of the turtle. So what is print method? If I pass print, hello, hello would be displayed. If I print Tim dot position, whatever is Mr. Tim's position will be displayed. So let's see. So hello, I passed to print method hello and uh, I passed Tim dot position and it gave, it gave me X, Y position. Okay. So if I talk in terms of screen, Tim lies exactly at the center of the screen. Right. Now, if I move Mr. Tim, let's say dot Tim dot FT by 100. So what is the Tim position which you expect? Let's say I print it again over here. 
and let's see the new position it becomes 100 0 because it's just moving in the x direction right this is one way to change the position of the tim by fd bag and the other way to change the position of mr tim is directly making mr turtle go to certain x y so as i already said that our screen is divided into four parts right four quadrants from minus 500 minus 250 to plus 250 and minus 400 to plus 200 so let's say i want to bring mr tim into the left quadrant okay second quadrant where my x is minus and y is plus so let me try minus 200 comma uh, let's keep y as 100 this time so it will exactly go to this coordinate let's see the path of mr tim okay so mr tim does not change any direction its head still remains in the direction it was but mr tim's position has changed and which we can again verify with the help of print statement now the final position is minus 200 100 which we gave now one thing to note over here is wherever uh, total is moving it is tracing its path and the, if we really don't want to trace the path we can make use of pen drawing state and what could be those pen could be in a up position and pen could be in a down position so before moving tim to any position if i do tim dot pen up that means my pen is up it is not it would not be able to draw if i move it right so if i do it now you can see that now that path is not raised the one to go to minus 200 100 now but the problem here is if i move it further tim dot fd let's say 100 i expect it to move and trace this path here but right now if i do it it's not time it's tim okay if right now if i do it it will move but without tracing a path so but if i really want to trace the path here i need to put my pen down okay so here is my pen down the other thing which we can talk about is visibility of mr tim okay so let's first change the shape of the turtle and we know that we can do with the help of tim dot shape let me pass square to it this time and it is square now while creating turtle i can also choose if i really want to see turtle from the beginning and for that i have something called visible visible is equal to false or true so if i run this turtle will not be visible but in between program i can choose to see turtle or hide turtle let's say i want to do tim dot show total let's see so things are not visible but by the end of the program because we have used tim dot show total this shows up now the other thing which we talked about is the thickness of the line which is drawn which can be controlled with the help of pen size so i can do this tim dot pen size okay and here i can pass the width in terms of pixel which will be the thickness of the line which is traced by turtle so let's say if i pass 10 so width will be 10 pixels and let's see the difference this time as you can see now it is thicker right we can make it more thick whatever we want the other point to note down over here which here we have already done is um size of turtle okay so right now we can see 
this size of line has become more than the size of our pen so let me see turtle size okay right other thing which we can talk about is reset and clear so we can reset whatever we have done by using reset and as you can see turtle goes back to its original state and uh, it's back to its original size too let's say if i use clear what will clear do okay so turtle stays at whatever position we left it but this uh, drawing is erased with the help of clear okay let's talk about one more thing which is pen speed so we can decide the speed of turtle with the help of speed it can range from 1 to 10 and 0 stands for fastest speed and then from the scale of 1 to 10 it goes up make the speed to 0 oops i don't need to do clear it was too fast okay see and if i do it 5 you can still see now the other thing which we have already talked about is pen color so we we'll just implement it over here so if i want to do tim dot uh, let me make this true i'm not able to see my turtles i'll just make it true or which is default true so i'll do tim dot color and I, ca I can pass pen color and fill color so pen color and fill color can be passed separately also let's say i make it red and then i make it blue okay so let's see what happens so pen color decides the line which is drawn and the total uh, size uh, fill color decides the color which total will fill when any shape is drawn with the help of begin fill and end fill which we have already seen in case of adding color video right if you want more details you can go over there so these are the main uh, there are lot many uh, turtle and pen attributes which we can use but they all revolve in this direction which we have already talked and then we can anyways explore that but these are the main ones which we will be using so we have learned so many attributes of turtle and pen but not yet sure where to implement them and to show same we'll be creating another REPL in next lecture to draw this sun and house and see how we can make use of turtle attributes which we have learned in this lecture. Let's move to next lecture.